What's going on everybody? Today we are going through everything fishing in LEGO Fortnite. So we're just going to start off showing you quickly how to unlock the fishing rods. Common fishing rod, you can see you just need to add a cord to your inventory. And you'll just continue on to the next. For an uncommon fishing rod, you'll pull out a notch root rod, as you'll see here. Then the rare fishing rod will move up. It'll be a flexwood rod. I looked at my chest here and realized I didn't have any flexwood rods, so I'm going to go make some quickly. So it doesn't show it in the video, but what I also did here by using the lumber mill is unlock the food processor, which is another new item. You either need to build or use a lumber mill to unlock the food processor in your world. And now you can see I go and I grab my frost pine rods, which is the last item to unlock the epic fishing rod. So we've now unlocked all four fishing rods and we'll head over to the crafting bench to see what we need to craft them. So as you can see here, we'll scroll down to the bottom of the first page in our crafting bench and there are our four fishing rods with all the items you need to craft them. Wolf claw, wooden rod, and cord for the common. Knotted rod, cord, silk thread, and wolf claw for uncommon. Flexwood rod, drawstring, wolf thread, and sand claw for rare. And frostbine rod, drawstring, arctic claw, and heavy wolf thread for the epic. We're going to go grab the items to build an epic one. We're going to go epic right off the bat. There, and just like that, we have our first fishing rod. Just about ready to go do some fishing. As you can see here, there are also quests that come with this fishing update that you can work on through LEGO Fortnite. Now I just have one more thing to show you guys before doing some fishing, and that is the food processor that I mentioned. So as you can see, you need plank, bow, and wooden rod, and granite to build yourself a food processor. And like I said, to unlock that recipe, you either need to build or use a lumber mill in your world. So I grabbed the items and built a food processor in my outdoor kitchen, and now we are ready to go do some fishing. So I figured the first spot I would check is the fishing dock behind my base, and there just happened to be a fishing spot right off the edge of it already. So that is where I'll take my first cast and whiff on my first fish. I'll try again here. So this fishing spot I found is white, so it's just a common fishing spot. You'll also find them green, blue, and purple, which are the different rarity tiers. So of course purple would be epic, so you have the best chance to catch higher tiered fish there. And I just caught my first fish of this one, which is an orange flopper, which unlocked a wave break charm recipe for me. As you start fishing, you'll notice orange floppers are definitely the most commonly caught fish pretty much anywhere in the game. And you can see here, I also unlocked a fish fillet recipe from catching that fish. So now I just skipped ahead a bit because I was just catching a bunch more orange floppers. And this is the second fish type that I've caught, which is a blue slurp fish. All the slurp fish seem to pop up and give you the slurp juice item recipe unlock, even though you probably already have it. So now that I've got some fish in my inventory, I'm going to do the next step, which is taking them to my food processor. So you put your fish into the processor and they are turned into fish fillets. Now you'll want to take those fillets out and adding the fillets to your inventory will unlock two more crafting recipes for you. As you can see here, you'll unlock the simple sushi consumable that you can cook at your grill. And you'll also unlock the common bait bucket. Bait buckets are one of the most important items for fishing as they allow you to make a fishing spot anywhere. Anywhere that there's water you can throw in a bait bucket and make a fishing spot. So to make your bait buckets you're going to take your fish fillets that you just made and you're going to put them back into your food processor and they will then be processed into bait buckets. So now I'm going to whip up a couple buckets here with the fillets I made. So now you'll see as I exit the food processor with my common bait bucket for the first time, I'll unlock the three item recipes for the higher tiered bait buckets. So of course the higher tier bait bucket, the higher chance to get rare fish. 
I don't know for sure on this part, but you might also need to have a juicer in your world to unlock these bait buckets because a juicer is what you use to make them. So as you see here, we'll go check out our juicer and see the three different recipes for the epic, rare, and uncommon bait buckets. I like that it's starting to use some of the items that you might not have used as much so that you have a reason to stockpile them and do some different things in the game. But now we're gonna rush over and grab everything we need to make some epic bait buckets. So as you can see, we just pulled out 15 epic bait buckets and now we are ready to do some real fishing. So first thing, I'm going to go back to my dock, the original spot we tried, and we're going to throw an epic bait bucket in here and see how it does. So the epic bait buckets aren't guaranteed to catch better fish, but there's just a higher chance that a rare fish will come through. So for the most part, you're still just going to be catching orange floppers and common fish, as you can see here. So I skipped ahead because I was just catching orange floppers. And now I cut to this clip because this is a third fish type for the video. This is a green flopper, another common fish type. So different biomes and bodies of water as well as time of day will all play a factor in what fish you catch. So we're going to do some exploring here and head off to our Frostlands biome to do some fishing. So here's our first cast in the Frostlands. And we pulled up an orange flopper. So orange floppers are everywhere. But as you saw, there's also quests for catching fish in the Frostlands. So we'll keep going here and see what we can find. Another thing that you'll notice is that fish will fight harder and longer depending on their rarity. So you can kind of tell what you have on your line right off the bat. So that fought a lot harder than an orange flopper would have. So I figured it was something different and it ended up being a purple slurp fish. As you can see, I unlocked the slurp juice item recipe again, even though I already have it. I've also noticed that you seem to catch slurp fish more right at dawn or dusk, which does make sense because they did say in the patch notes that the time of day would affect the fish that you catch. The next thing I wanted to test was if there was a difference fishing in a river versus a lake. And it seems like there is a different variety of fish in a river. As you can see here, I started catching blue small fry in this one, which also unlocked me a smoked fry fish recipe, which you can make on your grill. Hmm. So I kept on fishing this stretch, catching more blue small fry, and then a couple of casts in, I pulled up this black and blue shield fish, which is another new species for me in the game. And as you can see, it also gave me the item recipe for black and blue shieldfish sushi. So the next thing I wanted to test was night fishing. I wanted to see what you would catch at night. And overall, I didn't see much of a difference between night and day in general. There just seemed to be certain times during the day where you would catch a spike of three or four rare fish in a row. But otherwise, at night, it didn't make much of a difference. I did catch that silver thermal fish for a first at night here, but I also caught those during the day. So next we're just going to jump over to the drylands biome and I'll show you guys a couple of the fish from here. Starting off with this yellow slurp fish. And I believe this next cast, yep, this next cast is another new fish for me. This was a raven thermal fish. I'm hoping to come out with a full guide soon on what fish can be caught where. Like those raven thermal fish, I believe, can only be caught in the desert. And right here is another fish, the molten spicy fish that can only be caught in the desert slash drylands biome. And you also get another item recipe for catching the molten spicy fish, which is the spicy fish sandwich. So here I show I've got a good inventory of fish. Another thing I wanted to mention was through my testing, I figured out that you can catch about 110 fish with one epic fishing rod before it breaks. So now we're gonna jump over to the shore biome for some ocean fishing. This was actually my first cast I took in the shore biome and you can tell right away this fight is different. And it ended up being a legendary fish. 
This is a legendary blue flopper. Make sure you guys hang on to any legendary fish you catch because in the future they said they'll be adding a way to display your legendary fish in your homes, which will be cool. There's a legendary fish available for every fish type in the game. And here I'll just show you another example of catching different fish types between different biomes. So this is again the shore biome fishing in the ocean and you'll start catching jellyfish here. As you can see I pull up a slurp jellyfish. So I have one more fishing area to show you guys and that is the inside of a cave. Inside grasslands caves you can find these little pools of water and as you can see I'm throwing bait buckets in and they don't work but you can just cast your rod in and you will catch fish I realized after. There is something special about the cave fishing spots though as there's only one epic tiered fish in the game called the vendetta flopper and the caves seem to be the only place where you can catch vendetta floppers. So as you can see here, this is a pretty good fight again. I figured I had something good on and it is a Vendetta Flopper. It's my first one, which also unlocked a new charm recipe for me, the Reflection Charm. So that pretty much covers all the basics of fishing and fishing spots I have for you. Now we'll just go back to base and I'll show you guys some of the crafting items we unlocked. So as you can see here, we're gonna start at the grill and we've unlocked black and blue shieldfish sushi which gives you two hearts and three extra shield hearts, as well as recovering five hunger. You got simple sushi, which recovers three hearts and five hunger. Then you got smoked fry fish, which is two regular hearts, one bonus heart, and eight hunger. And then you've got the spicy fish sandwich, which covers 13 hearts, gives you four minutes of cool protection and 10 hunger. Next, we're going to jump over to our crafting table and we'll check out the two charms that we unlock through catching fish. So the first one I'll scroll down to here is called the Reflection Charm. So the Reflection Charm reflects some damage back to an attacker. We're going to need Silk Thread, Glass, and Vendetta Floppers to craft. And then the next charm will be the Wave Break Charm, which accelerates your swimming speed. And you need Silk Thread, Planks, Sand Shells, and Five Orange Floppers to craft that one. And the last thing I need to show you guys in this video is your ability to process your slurp fish into slurp juice. So all you have to do is take any of either your slurp jellyfish or your slurp fish and put them into your food processor, which will either give you a stack of slurp juice or a couple slurp juice and a fish fillet. And that's all I've got for you guys. If anything in the video was helpful, be sure to like and comment down below and be sure to check out my channel for everything Lego Fortnite and hit that sub button. Peace. I'm back to add this in at the end. I'm also doing Fortnite skin giveaways, so be sure to check out the posts on my channel and just comment your epic name down below any of my videos to have a chance to win.